National School Choice Week is well underway across the country. And Andrew Campanella is president of the National School Choice Week. And he has some tips on how to choose the right school for your child and how it can change your child's future. Andrew, thank you for being back with us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, the last time we were talking, we really kind of focused on uh, the goal of National School Choice Week and things like that. But we're going to kind of dive a little bit deeper now that we're into the week itself. Uh, starting out with what I just said, what are some of the things that parents should be asking when they're ready to make that choice? The first question that I think parents should ask is, what type of school or education environment would most inspire my child? Parents know their kids the best. They know that all kids learn differently and are inspired by different things. The second question parents should ask is, what type of environment or school would my child be most comfortable learning in? And the third question would be, what actual options or schools are available for my kids in my community? We want parents to try to get those three questions answered during National School Choice Week because then they can map out the school search process uh, throughout the next few months. And we said last time I spoke to you that Arizona, uh, we rank pretty well when it comes to having those choices. And we focus so much yes. on this. I, hopefully, you know, our goal is that they have a great learning process. And then, of course, they graduate high school. Uh, and we know sometimes those uh, stats on people dropping out, or we wish that would be better. Is this kind of why we think this is so important is we want people to stay in and enjoy it? You know, I think it is one of the biggest reasons that this issue, school choice, is so important. And that is, we want kids to learn. And you cannot learn if you are not inspired and motivated and challenged at school. And as a result of being inspired, motivated, and challenged, happy. And if you're happy, you're more likely to graduate. And when you graduate, you are more likely to get a good job, earn more money over the course of your lifetime, and also you're more likely to be involved in your community. So graduation is so important. And I know, you know, there's a lot of those consequences that come with uh, someone that does end up kind of stopping a little bit early on. It, it, besides school choice and what we're talking about right now, being inspired, loving, you know, where you're going to school, what are we, what else are we doing to hopefully get that graduation stat higher? Well, what parents and schools and teachers need to do is work together to help improve graduation rates. It isn't just a matter of <clears throat> focusing on one school's graduation rate or one family's uh, student graduating. Of course, that's the most important for a parent, but schools need to work together, collaborate. If they find that students are not happy in that school, they should work with other schools to place them in an environment that best meets their needs. So I know there's so many things going on with School Choice Week. I know there's events going on in different places. There's resources online that, of course, parents can get a hold of. Where can I go online to get information on all of that? Sure, you can go to schoolchoiceweek.com and download a school choice guide for families in Arizona. That is so uh, helpful for, for, for us. Andrew, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.